and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Bant Arcbow, we're going to go ahead and play this in Ranked. This was the list that I sent out on the Discord uh, before last weekend, before the uh, MCQ last weekend, that if I wasn't playing Grixis Control, this was the deck that I would have been playing. Uh, I went ahead and updated it since the last time we played it last week, and I've been liking how this has been playing out. So some some things that we updated. So before, I only had Landwar Elf, Paradise Druid, and Arcbow for like one and two mana cards. And I really didn't think that that was enough. So we have a couple Baffling Ends in the main deck to help us with aggro, where we were struggling just a little bit against aggro. I wanted some kind of uh, other interaction in the main besides like the deputies uh, there. And so we got the two Baffling Ends. And even against... Um, even against Control, where Baffling End is a dead card, we do have the Arc Bows that get to get rid of them as well. So I've been happy with them. And then the other, the main card that we have here that some people are asking questions about is Growth Chamber Guardian, uh, where this card is is really at its best whenever you don't have, whenever you're like running out or running low on resources because you, how it gets to replace itself, uh, you can get to get, go grab more Growth Chamber Guardians and everything like that. And whenever it's a 4-4, four, four, that 4-4 four, four body is pretty good against aggro also. Um, but it works really well with Oketra of like getting more creatures to be able to cast uh, if you have an Oketra out. Um, it works pretty good with Arcbow where you can um, activate the Growth Chamber Guardian and go grab another one to have a card to discard <laughs> even if you want. You can have like that extra card there. Um, but I wanted another two drop and I like this over Wow or uh, Merfolk Branchwalker. Um, so a question here is so another question is, why only two Oketra? I feel like it's a win-the-game card in so many matchups that the opponent can't deal with it in the turn. Snowball's hard. Correct. That is all. All of that is correct. Um, the thing the thing about it is, while all of that is correct, it doesn't have evasion. Where I, I really value like these creatures with evasion these days. There are so many ground creatures running around. Um, but even though we only have two copies, you don't really need... A, more copies because of having Arcbow, you get to see a lot of cards in your deck. So it's it's not too difficult to find the two cop like one of the two copies of Oketra. Um I've been happy with two. I I started like the very first time I played an Arcbow deck was like a Selesnia version uh before and had three copies and honestly I've just been happy with two. It is a really strong card, but you don't want to have like a lot of them in your hand kind of thing. But even if you do, I don't know. I've just been super, super impressed with Shalai and Lyra and, and really want... There's a lot of games like where you're, you're behind and you need like to hit a Lyra or Shalai or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think the two's a, a fine number. And, and that's the thing to remember, that it plays like we have more than two because of Arcbow. Uh, we can find those copies more easily. Um, and it does have like some... A little bit of like a anti-synergy with Arcbow where you're not casting creatures if you're activating Arcbow. Um, adding in a time wipe in the sideboard for creature matchups, especially like mono white, but then other creature matchups, we, we can have a removal spell like time wipe, um, a sweeper. So that's something that we didn't have before. And then also for control, I'm going with a mortal sun here, uh, against like, against like all these planeswalker heavy decks, like Esper control or Jeskai walkers going with a couple of mortal suns. Um, and because I'm playing that, we're cutting down on three mana Vivian and going with the, the three mana Teferi, but Teferi is still going to be just fine um, even if we have a Mortal Sun in play because we keep them from casting instant speed stuff. And I think that's a, a perfectly uh, reasonable thing to have. So that, those are a couple of changes that we made since the last time. I uh, got the extra spark double for the like other green matchups that don't have a ton of interaction to try to get the Shalai spark double combo. Uh, if they're going to be like matchups where we're going to be stalling out the battlefield more, uh, I think it's a more likely chance that we have that. This is like a card that I'm probably the most skeptical of. Like it's certainly possible that we'll be cutting this spark double. And I kind of want a second Tristani because of all the mass manipulation decks around. Uh, but so far I've just been playing the one and been happy with the one, but I kind of want a second. And I guess that's where that spark double could turn into a second Tristani there. If you're somebody that doesn't really love the second spark double. Yeah, let's give this a try. So last Thursday, whenever the last time we were playing ranked matches, hey Merlin, 
Uh, we, you know, we had that real tough losing streak last Thursday, dropped from around number hundred down to like ninety mid nineties percent. So you had ninety five percent. We're gonna try to work our way back up. We have about four or five days to get back up into top thousand, so we can qualify for the next MCQ next month. <laughs> Why Growth Ch Chamber Guardian over Thorn Lieutenant? Basically, Growth Chamber Guardian is a better card when it's like your only thing you have. Um, you know, it can provide more card advantage and all that kind of stuff. But Thorn Lieutenant is good. Um, it is a lot better. It is good against aggro, and it's good against Little Teferi. Where Growth Chamber Guardian is not that bad against the Fairy either, but... Um, yeah, Thorn Lieutenant could be could be an option there. I don't know if I'd want to play four Thorn Lieutenants instead of the Growth Chamber Guardians. I think Growth Chamber Guardian is just kind of a better card. The season ends in, like, two days? I thought it was more than two days. Well, I guess it's the 28th of May right now I think it was the end of the month but I guess it is the 28th today so So I guess that is like two or three days. Hey, what's up, QQ? Not really expecting to resolve Lyra Dawnbringer. It's pretty obvious our opponent has dive down. No, no dive down. Interesting. Uh, no, Mountain Wind Cat, it's not. It was. The Abs and Angels was made by somebody else. Um, there's another person that was in the stream yesterday that had a, a really close version to that. The Tonade for it. Star Citizen, is that a different game?
Yeah, no, I haven't heard of Star Citizen, no. Yeah, I don't have, like, a great plan here. I kind of, I, I certainly, especially after drawing that other Shalai, I'm definitely regretting playing S Spark Double when I did and not Shalai. We are going to have to start attacking with an Angel and then recasting one. Looks like. We'll grab another Growth Chamber Guardian here. I don't know what vaporware is. Star Citizen's the biggest scam in gaming history, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about it. Gotcha. So that's sixteen. So I go to twelve and then uh, I guess they have to block. But they just can block there, take that, and then I'm dead on the swing back. Certainly glad they made that block. Means I didn't have to activate July. Which also means I can keep Frilled Mystic available. So that gets blocked there, that blocks there, and yeah, they have to block another thing also. Let's 
Star Citizen got forty million dollars of crowdfunding in twenty fourteen. Whoa. That's a lot. Well, I didn't think we were winning that game, but we kind of just did somehow. So let's get these baffling ends, vetoes, time raveler, um, night of autumns for curious obsessions. You can play in this deck with Fibble Tip. Very nice. Yeah, Fibble Tip is a good good hit off Arkbow, that's that's for sure. So I don't want Frilled Mystic and It's only twenty two creatures though. Yeah, these arc bows are gonna be kinda of rough without very many creatures. But it's such a good card. Hmm. Maybe I get rid of Baffling End? I need to keep my creature count up. That or get rid of Veto. That's 24 creatures. Kind of trimming everything. I'm going to just take out one Arc Bow, one Veto, and one Baffling End to go along with the. Take out one of the Oketras. So, while Arc Bow is really good here, what's up, Dos Bomb? We can't just, like, take out all of our. our creatures, though. The reason why Arc Bow is really good is because their whole plan, of course, is to. Um, let's shock him with this thing. Their whole plan, of course, is to uh, counter all your spells, but if you have Arcbow, then you don't need to play into counter magic at all. So you're good to go there. Yeah, Blast Zone is pretty perfect um, against Mono Blue. There's not a lot of people to play Blast Zone, though. Hmm. Alright, well, now they cannot adapt to Terramander. So that's good news. That Terramander can adapt. <laughs> 
think I took out the spark doubles. Uh, I didn't think they had a counter spell. Dang. I didn't think they had counter magic left. Alright, six cards a turn. We get a look to see, put our best creature into play. Could certainly be a, a waste, honestly. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Like, I don't even know if that's necessary. Just be activating Arc Bow again. Now what? <laughs> yeah, Arc Bow is a pain. Well, this will just get the Storm Tamer. It can only attack for seven in the air right now. Hey, Petite. All right, cool. Like a Cyborg guy for Jeskai Control Deck? Absolutely. Um, just send me a message on Discord. Or you, you can send me a message on here too if if you like if you want to just send me a, a message on here too either here or Discord. Uh, there's the link and I will take a look at that after the stream tonight. Wait, right, cancel. What if all right? If I just attack out. That's going to be an activate July. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's that's just lethal, exactly lethal. So let's just do that. Yeah. But thanks, Petite. I don't think I needed to do that whole Teferi Dovin's Veto play. I think that was kind of a bad line there. But we still got there. All right, 96%. Working our way back up. Let's see, what does it say for, for time on this anyway? It is, it says it ends in two days. It is two days, so. I guess we need to get some work done here. All right, looking good.
Yeah, that's true. I didn't have to. Well, so like everything resolved the previous turn. But yeah, that is true. I didn't need to throw down that second Lyra either. But with everybody, everything resolving the previous turn, I was thinking that it was going to resolve as well. Um, and I don't really want Growth Chamber Guardian just to get shocked. Not a very good hand for this matchup. A matchup of burn spells. Oh, it's Grixis. Oh. Well, this got a whole lot better for us. Our baffling end actually is going to do something. Which is good. And we get to land War Elf. I was thinking it was going to be Arc, Arc Light Phoenix. It's the matchup that I was expecting. I'm expecting this deputy just to die. Expecting them just to keep it there and have the deputy die. That would have been great if they put it back in, in their library. I've been really happy with that. Ugh, worst case scenario. I don't really know how we're going to get through this Kefnet. Put thoughtfulness before action. Make the multiverse in my image. If I will return. Yep, take action. So obviously we need to kill Nicobolus Dragon God here. So I'm gonna send these two over there, not the new growth chamber guardian that we could. is infuriating that we could activate but I you know obviously I, I don't really want to try to activate with the Oketra being there oh, I thought erasure so good Looks pretty over. Maybe we should have just grabbed another Growth Chamber Guardian and played it here instead of trying to wait for Oketra. Yeah, Oketra is not going to save us. They can pretty easily just win a race also by just attacking. All right, can't they? Bow 
boundless power. In power of Kefnet with Ritual of Six. In exchange for eternal servitude. What am I going to do here with this matchup? All the cosmos are mine to control. I cannot exploit. All right. Let's pick this up. Move on to game two, where we're going to have all these uh, vetoes. Um, I don't want Deputy of Detention. I don't have good removal for, like, Kefnet at all. We could, of course, go Immortal Sun, but Grixis plays, you know, Bedevil, Angress Rampage, that kind of stuff. Um, and as we saw, they just had, like, creatures. Like, they had, like, Thief of Sanity and everything like that. Um... Gonna be able to like shall I spark double combo them? Probably not. I really don't want to play Baffle again for just Thief of Sanity, but Thief of Sanity will destroy us if I don't. All right, I'm going to go two Teferi to Immortal Sun. What are you sick with of the metagame, Yori? Not a mulligan, but not ideal, as far as hands go. Uh, yeah, Nullhide Ferox would be good for the Grixis matchup, but it's the Grixis matchup isn't really that popular. I don't really want it for like it. This is not popular enough deck to be playing. Something like that, like just playing some Null Hide Feroxes for this matchup. Just don't need to. Mystic.
We'll see if they have Ritual of Soot or not. No Ritual of Soot. Okay. That's good news. Hey, Benefactor. Welcome to the channel. All right, seventh sub of the day. Hey, Avad and Daniston. Good afternoon. Good evening. No, my arc bow. That'd been a good one. Well. I mean, are they just dead? Yeah, they're just. They're just dead. So, a lot of people have been questioning the Growth Chamber Guardians. You saw just how strong Growth Chamber Guardian was that game. It just I mean, won the game on its own. We just drew a bunch of lands, and you know, the land were off, and the Growth Chamber Guardian just kept on finding more and killed our opponent. Well, let's go, let's go Tristani, actually. Since they're going to be Thief of Sanity, actually, let's go Tristani. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Tristani's really nice. Um, oh, trim a veto. Yeah, so this is Bant Arkbo. This is the deck that we're playing right here. We are Bant is blue, white, and green. And we are a deck built around Vivian's Arkbo. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like the card Biomancer's Familiar. Yeah, I like that card. It's a well designed card. Yeah, I've had my Arc Bow get bounced by Little Teferi for sure. I haven't really. Yeah, that, that's that's a thing that happens. It's. It's just like bouncing any other creature. It's not, I mean, it's obviously it's not good, but it's not like game. It's not like you you lose the game or anything like that. Because activating Vivian's Arcbow on turn three isn't usually very good anyway, and you you can just replay it. Uh, I haven't tried an Orzhov midrange or Knight's deck in a long time. What makes you think that it, that just the Orzhov midrange Knight's deck would be in, in a real good position right now? I do like Soren plus Playcrafter a whole lot. No. Dang it. That was the problem with discarding the Arc Bow. Was that they could kill it. And then I wouldn't have an Arc Bow. But I wanted Immortal Sun, and at the time it was our fourth and fifth lands, and getting rid of like the fifth land was going to make it really hard for Immortal Sun. So I was just kind of hoping that we got to keep that.
Yeah, Soren is nice, for sure. Do you ever think we'll get Planeswalkers that can perform abilities at instant speed or on the opponent's turn? Probably not. So yeah, you could activate the ability on the opponent's turn if you haven't activated one on, on your turn. That could be kind of difficult to track in paper. Of like, what turn did you do that other ability? When was it? Was that at like my end step or your turn? Especially if like a whole bunch of other things have happened in a longer, longer turn. Resulting in judge calls of like both players like not exactly remembering or something. I don't know. I mean, I, over time, you know, if you just kind of think about just like the probabilities over time, eventually that seems like that's a, a likely design space for them to um, explore because there's only so much design space and everything. And, and so over time, that could certainly be something that happens, but I wouldn't expect that to be something that happens um, for a while. Yeah, when you have a bunch of tokens and you're playing in paper, <clears throat> you either you need to have something to represent the tokens. You can use basically anything. The most the most common thing people use to represent tokens are dice. But you need something to represent your tokens. Uh, some people bring like their own, either like they have the wizards made tokens or they bring their own custom tokens. Hey, what's up, Hude? <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, Rakdos. You may have to, yeah, the new, the Rakdos card, uh, Rakdos the Showstopper, you may have to flip coins like 30 times if there's a huge battlefield. Yeah, that could happen. You use Pokemon cards. There you go. I know my responsibility. Let's try this. Ripjaw Raptor. Here goes nothing. So I'm two mana away from being able to play Shalai and Frilled Mystic. I so right now I could Deputy and Frilled Mystic. That's not bad. I've got it. We're going to deputy the incubation druid. The Ripjaw Raptor doesn't really matter. But the incubation druid can give them a lot more mana. So I think this is the kind of matchup where I want spark double Shalai combo. Um, this would be a good, like, obviously, I don't know exactly what our opponent's doing. Um, seems like they are going to be a steal all your stuff kind of deck. That's what it seems like, but unclear if that's actually what they're doing. So all of these cards 
are all cards I'm interested in. Heck, even Dovin's Vetoes. Um, even Immortal Sun. Can't play all these, though. Where do we not... What do we want to take out? We probably don't need Growth Chamber Guardian in this kind of matchup. How are we looking creature-wise, though? So if we cut those, we're going down to 24 creatures. So we probably need to cut spells after that. Um... I don't actually need time wipe. All right, we're going to try this. Hey, Jelly Tug. We could have one set put back to Arena up to Shadows over in Estrad. What would it be? So we had uh, Shadows over Innistrad. Was that the fall set? No, that wasn't a fall set, right? That was a spring set. Was it just like that, then Eldritch Moon, then Kaladesh? The camera's not ha handling my striped shirt very well. I could grab a jacket and put on a jacket. Well, so I didn't. I didn't love Kaladesh block very much. I uh, didn't really. Like Amon kept block a ton either. Um, so is Amon kept block? Yeah, then. Yeah, Kaladesh block, Amon kept block. Were those the ones right after Innistrad? So the Paradise Druid having Hexproof here means, you know, we're not going to play the Time Raveler to, to, to bounce it. I kind of want to say Eldritch Moon out of those. The only problem with Eldritch Moon, I liked... I liked a whole lot of stuff in Eldritch Moon. The, the one problem being... Um, Emrakul, the promised end. Ether Revolt has, or it had, um, No. Uh. Or at least Ether Vault had uh, Felidar Guardian, which I didn't like at all. But if you don't have Sahili, then Felidar Guardian is not nearly as bad. I think that was like the main problem with Felidar Guardian was Sahili. All three shall eyes this time. Could have got that last time. Yep, this is a steal your stuff deck.
So certainly hoping we find Spark Double with the Arc Bow. We haven't seen a Spark Double yet. Because Spark Double would just counter their stuff for good. Hey, Laredus one. But no reason to risk it when we have Frill Mystic in our hand. All right, here's the moment of truth. Do we see? <clears throat> Spark double? Deputy's not bad. That'll work. Feeling pretty good about this. All right, so either we hit Frilled Mystic or Spark Double out of the next six. Neither. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. I've seen things that would break someone like you. All right, that's game. Because even if they minus and killed Shalai, we had lethal here. Because like they could block one of the three twos, but we still had we still had lethal for them there. All right, we're working our way back up. Band arc bow being three and O. Oh. Probably be playing five matches. Yep, Baffling End does work on Krasis. Yep. When Krasis is on the battlefield, uh, it has CMC of just two. So, yep, it works there. Slow hand. We'll try keeping this on the play. And the hand is sped up. Yeah. Well, I like like small small Vivian is is definitely still good even even with having arc bow. Small Vivian is good. But I think for my excellent time. that very. Unfortunately, is a little better. And with Arcbow, you you need you need a lot of creatures, so you can't. It's tough to play. Um, I'll protect you. It's tough to play, like Arcbow and Small Teferi and Little Vivian, also, like and everything. Trust me, I have a plan. I should just attack with Growth Chamber Guardian first, I guess. Well, no, I can I can actually play defense here if they have like some removal on Oketra. <clears throat> Opinions on ranking with Soul Tide Dread Horde next season. Well, it's 
too early to say what's going to be happening next season because we're going to have another set and everything. So who knows what's going to change with next season? You know, like there's no way to see like what like you know even like dread like you know dread horde like last season like that wasn't a, a card because <laughs> there was like there was no dread horde card. So it's so as far as next season goes, it's just complete you know complete speculation. Uh, oh, you're talking about the next arena season before the new set comes out. I got you. Well, in that case, then uh, before the next set comes out, then Sultai Dreadhorde is a very good choice. It's a very strong deck. I believe that's what we're playing against here, and I don't really know what I want to do. Like, basically everything has reasons to play it, but I don't want to over sideboard also. I think I want to get rid of Deputy? Question mark? Trim a Teferi on the draw. This may be... Like, we'll see more of their deck after this. This may be a matchup where I, I take out Growth Chamber Guardians. We'll kind of see what's going on here, though. <laughs> yeah, there are four sets a year that come out. So they come out, so the sets come out about every, you know, approximately every three months. Hmm. If we had blue mana, I'd be more happy to keep this hand. Please don't kill my Lanowar off. Kill Lanowar off, then keeping that Frilled Mystic will be pretty silly. We have, yes, yeah, so we have two forests and a plains for basics. Looks like that's what our opponent's trying to do is go after those basics.
So playing Glacial Fortress is a better play against a you know a third field of ruin. To be a third blue source. isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. It's only a matter of time. They must have a whole bunch of spells in hand. Hmm. Well, I was definitely planning on just playing Shalai and then Frilled Mystic, but... Guess we're going to go Arcbow. Really protecting myself against planeswalkers on their side. No more basics to grab. There's the planeswalker. That's the not the one I was hoping for. Another my plan at all. Not That's not a good one for me to see. All right, got Wild Growth Walker out of here, so we don't need to worry about, you know, another Explore creature. Don't have to uh, counter Explore creatures at all. Raska Golgari Queen. It's going to be pretty annoying, like, ticking up, sacking like this thing, draw, drawing a card, plus drawing the card they get off of that. It's going to be pretty annoying. Unfortunately, we don't get to just cast Spark Double at instant speed. Yeah, I guess I'm going to be pretty bad against Let's Dreadhorde. Tear this place apart. Certainly true. Feel the uh, not again. Guess I'm just hoping they don't have Dreadhorde. Every defeat is Can't a beat new it right beginning. Now.
Yep, they're looking at both the graveyards. Alright, so they have... I am not going to sit this one out. All right, this seems like a Dovin's Veto matchup. And this other Frilled Mystic and these Immortal Sons. Now I see their deck a little bit more. Um, Baffling End is good against Wild Growth Walker, but doesn't mean that we necessarily need it. We don't need the Growth Chamber Guardians. Gives me 21 creatures, yuck. Just get rid of Teferi Time Waster. All right, let's give this a try. Maybe I'd just play Time Raveler over Baffling End. No. <laughs> All right, game three. Good start. There's like three country songs on the playlist. <laughs> Basically, no matter what they play this turn, I was going to be frilled mysticking it and start it and starting to attack because it want to pressure their life total. I guess I could have just floated mana and been able to counter another two drop, two mana card. Let's attack. All right, really good draw. I mean, if blue mana would have been arguably better to be able to have the Frilled Mystic up, but um, hmm, 
think I'm just going to let this happen with me having the other arc bow. Definitely want to find Shalai with an arc bow to be able to spark double it. That would be ideal. Gross. Please don't have Uga now. Come on. Ugh. That's really rough. In a thousand life, the fabric of the multiverse obeys me. That was really, really unfortunate. Certainly the one card I didn't, really didn't want to see with countering that Assassin's Trophy. That worked out perfectly for them. We'll see how this goes with like double Oketra potentially. Okay, that's fine. I can create or destroy. Takes that loyalty from Ugin. Alright, not fine. All right, we need to hit a flyer. We need to hit Lyra or Shalai so we can attack and kill this Ugin. Looking at seven cards here. That's a lot of cards. Now we're suddenly doing fine. Especially with the Dovin's Veto for backup. I guess I could see if I hit Frilled Mystic. No, I'm just going to veto.
All right, five cards. Shall I? Gross. Whole bunch of lands. Hey, what's up, McCarty? Are you kidding me? Did you just draw another Command the Dread Horde? Oh, come on. Just one one last frilled mystic in the deck. Come on, back to back. So if I if I if I look for frilled mystic and I miss, it's gonna be a real big problem for us. It's already a big problem for us. Dang it. That's that's the card that I wanted to wait. That's the reason why I wanted to wait was this card right here. Pretty nice. Just getting three free lands. Four free lands off the explorers now. Couldn't you just draw like some of those before the Command the Dread Horde? Seriously, just one more turn of not Command the Dread Horde. We would have had Shalai Spark double combo. That was the big problem with doing the Arc Bow when I did. Uh, that was a killer. That's that's why, because I want Shalai first before I Spark Double, because then they can't interact with like any of our stuff anymore. What a two great top decks in a row. Just command and then command. We had the first one covered, but not the second one. Jeez. I guess I have to do this. Obviously, their explorer drew them four lands so that they get another Jade Light. So now I don't have this other Wildgrowth Walker checked. Must be nice. To 
thinking. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. This will put me down to seven. Sure, I mean, we could have either doubled Lyra or um, or activated Arcbow, and I went with activate Arcbow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll just stay at five. Fighting back. All right, seven. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Eight, so I'm taking four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four, so I go down to eight. I guess we just let them have the jade light. If they have another command the dread horde. I guess they just get another jade light. Hopefully they don't. Uh, looks like they do. Maybe not. So that's the reason not to block the J light. I was thinking of like the other command, but <sighs> looks like they got another one. I'm 
Must be nice. Must be nice. Just to draw three Command the Dread Hordes like that in the late game. Must be nice. Of course, they have all this green mana to activate Shalai. It's just over. No, there's no way out. I don't have Tristani in my deck. That was just the, that was just amazing top decks of like. I had the game just well under wraps if they brick a turn and they drew command the dread horde, but I had the I had the counter spell, so I still had that, but then they need to break the next turn. But then they hit it they drew a second command the dread horde. And still even after that, as you can see there, I I was still gonna be ahead. It's gonna take take me a little bit of time, but I was gonna be ahead, but then they just drew a third command the dread horde. Very fortunate. No. Command the Dreadhorde is nowhere near as annoying as Feldar Guardian combo. All right, new last match here, uh, match number five. Uh, we're doing five matches in ranked here. It's a disappointing loss. Hey, what's up, chilling on? Thanks for that sub there. Activating Growth Chamber Guardian here before our Esper opponent kills it, and we don't get any value out of it. Sub number eight on the day. Thanks for that feel better sub. Thanks, Chillamon. Well. And Denriel also joining in on that feel better sub. Second month in a row. Thank you so much. Let's get some more hype boats in the channel there. There we go. That is our ninth sub of the day, so we are only one subscriber away from this sub goal and hitting enough sub goals for our next sub battle stream. All right, Oketra down. Here we go. All 
All right, let me get that started too. Let's drop a little. Let's slow this down. Don't worry, I got this. I've got it. So not attacking with the Growth Chamber Guardian because if they kill Shalai, which is very likely, then they would have enough attackers to kill Teferi, even with Chump blocking the Growth Chamber Guardian. Not loving where we are right now at all. Oh, we just don't have the mana to empty our hand, but our opponent does. It's pretty bad for us. Oh god. Same card last match that doomed us. Remember, like whenever we were ahead with the, you know, I countered the thing that killed my arc bow, and I was just saying that hope their last card was a Ugin, and then it was Ugin, and then they drew three commands. Bathe in ghost fire. Oh well. So we're going to. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Attacking at Ugin. Is not working though. Yes, all the check lands will rotate out. Yeah, it's possible they get reprinted. Or it's also possible there'll just be other rare lands in the core set or in. Especially in the fall set. Basically, fall sets, fall sets just always have rare lands in them. Like, so there are going to be other dual lands in the fall set, whether they're the check lands or not, has yet to be seen. But there will be some kind of rare dual land in the fall set. I can't be this Ugin. Ugin just takes over.
I don't know like how much Doan's Veto and Frilled Mystic I want against you know when we're gonna be facing down to Fairy Time Raveler. What if I just cut Frilled Mystic? That's probably that'd probably be bad for me. What if I do though? Let's try this. Yeah, I like how this looks. Just not rely on any um, instant speed stuff, but you know we still have the arc bows. And keeping all the little teferis in to help out heroes and thief of sanities. buy ourselves some more time uh, to get to our more expensive stuff because I'm keep have the curve like pretty high here yeah standard always rotates between five and eight expansions right now we're at seven expansions seven sets uh, the next core set will be set number eight, and then after after that, then the next set will rotate back down to five, so we'll gain one and lose four. And so that's where standard fluctuates is always between uh, five and eight sets. The fifth it will be the the fall set that comes out after M twenty. So yeah, you'll have Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica, War of the Spark, Core Set twenty twenty, and then whatever the, our fall set is which we don't know what it is yet. Come on. Come on, there you go. No, I don't think... Remorseful, Remorseful Cleric is pretty... pretty narrow for the sideboard. I don't think it's necessary. I don't, I don't think I really want it. Um... Kali Honor Guard would shut down Frilled Mystic. Doesn't sound like something I'm really into either. So Arcbow for four basically only hits Shalai, where Shalai, Shalai would be an amazing hit, but is it likely that we have a Shalai in the top four cards? Not not very. It doesn't really hit anything else. So I'm just going to play the Land War Elf to get to like the fifth mana and have like the Growth Chamber Guardian activation up for this turn. No, Nullhide Ferox only goes from your hand into play if your opponent causes you to discard it, not if you discard it with your own Arcbow. I won't hide from the world any longer.
Turtle went pretty good, Tom Tom. Yeah, we... Uh, I didn't... Didn't qualify or anything, but we started off 4-0 and then lost a couple in a row after that, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd say it was a success. Come on, Shalai. Come on, Shalai. Ugh, 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 ugh. No, Shalai. I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, that was the arena event. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, the legendary sorceries rotating is going to be sad. Liked, I liked those legendary sorceries. What does our opponent have in their hand over there? And where are our lands? Our last arc bow activation was four spells to the bottom, or well, three spells. No shall I. This is probably game. Yeah, Abel Hago, it's probably safe. I don't it's not like a hundred percent safe, but well, honestly off. maybe not. I don't know. I was you're not gonna be able to play the next two days? Yeah, honestly maybe not. All I know is last last time I was at like three hundred a day before and then before it was going to end I was like down to I was like out of the top thousand like in one day and so I had to play some more or no I was at 500 I was at 500 one day before and then I had to play some more so there's a, a chance that that's not safe but I don't know Yeah, KB, I played the legendary sorceries a ton. Keep up the pace. Especially uh especially last format. Um after uh Ravnica Allegiance. But then after yeah, after Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance, yeah, I played those things a ton. again where shall I worst time to see shall I though we just want to be drawing lands and then you know arc bowing and hitting cards off arc bow not
Hmm. Now we have six mana. The main reason why I'm not like tapping out here is because if I do, and then my opponent kills like whatever flyer I play, then they get to start attacking with Eva Sanity. Uh, how they're not attacking with Eva Sanity right now. I feel pretty good about that. Hmm. No, Raph Compassion's good. I don't I don't have enough legendaries to take advantage of Raph Compassion though. That's a good card. I think you build need to build around Raph a little more. Man, I want to spark double the Shalai so bad. It's just two... Too likely the Shalai dies. In response to the spark double. All right, I don't don't know what it was in their hand. Their hand definitely seemed like it was a bunch of nothing. You think they're just sitting on a counter spells when I'm a Teferi Time Raveler deck? Thanks, Juki. Hey, what's up, 619? 
yeah, I've been really liking this this band deck. Um, I think we got really unfortunate with that game three loss that we had with that other, our one loss here. I think we're really unfortunate with that. I'm not like real confident that we're going to win this game. That's per hero on the draw here. I'm not super confident, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see what our opponent has. Our guy's been lying real nice here. He's lucky belly. He's just lying on my my hand here, all nice. The, the draw go part is going to help us. Mm. So, Deputy, like the reason why I have this in my deck still is because it can clean up a whole bunch of hero tokens to help us out there. No, I've never used a, a gel pad there, J Jack. Our first match of this five game set here in Mythic was actually against Mono Blue. Which is yeah, a little surprising. I was really expecting that. Deputy. Hmm. We've seen them have like moment of craving and uh, tyrant scorn, and so if I play like deputy of detention, obviously moment of craving doesn't kill it, but the tyrant scorn does. Like so, maybe they just scorn the deputy. No, it certainly feels like Dovin's Veto, though, doesn't it? Hey, what's up, Gatsby? <clears throat> Deputy Sension. Sception. Deputy Sception. I feel like their other card is Dovin's Veto, that they had the two mana up both times, especially how the auto-tap just kept blue-white, blue-white for, like, both of the two lands. So definitely don't think they have Tyrant Scorn anymore, but Dovin's Veto is, like, almost 100%. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's take it back. All 
All right, well, do they have creature removal for my deputy? What is this attack? Please don't kill my deputy for a turn. Or a few turns. I mean, next turn we'll draw Shalai. Basically, if they have no creature removal in their hand, we win. If they do have creature removal, we may not win. We could lose, but it's not over. But it, if they don't have creature removal this turn, then I get to play Shalai and Spark Double. Like, if they don't have creature removal, they're going down. Yeah, we'll draw Shalai, because um, we're going to draw two cards off of with Immortal Sun. All right, so they possibly they have Moment of Craving. I'm just going to say no blocks here. Well, I could Paradise Druid, but then if they have something that makes me sacrifice, you just have like a random Eldest Reborn or something. I'm just going to say no blocks. That's the safest. Hey, there you go. Zerf, that is awesome. Dude, great news. New job hype. All right, no counter spell. Good. No counter spell. All right, shall I combo? Shall I combo online? There you go. You're bummed last. You didn't get the job you wanted last month, but then, you, then you got one that's way better. A month later, there you go. That's awesome. I have practiced All right. Well, that Narset does mean I don't draw two cards a turn with Immortal Sun, but of course we'll just kill. <clears throat> we'll just attack and kill Narset, so no big deal. Yeah, they have to have a. They need a Kai's Wrath or something like that. True. Well, we're going to try to kill them fast. They have one turn to draw a Wrath. One turn. I guess this lets them draw a flying creature to block, though, like a Thief of Sanity to stay alive for another turn. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. By attacking Narset, I could have just attacked them for 11 and put them down to 9 and not have that be the case. Yeah, they were playing the Narset, and I was killing the Narset, even though they couldn't activate because of Mortal Sun, but it keeps me from drawing the second card. All right, there we go. So we went 4-1 there with Bant Arcbow. A real good league, or, you know, real good five-match set. I guess, and we were 
just so close to the 5-0 that game three a lot of things had to go wrong you know <laughs> top deck wise from our opponent for us to lose the game three that we lost uh that did, that did happen um no our opponent would have the they would be able to take our immortal son if if i attacked with the deputy and they killed deputy they would take immortal son um but yeah, this this deck this felt awesome. Uh, the Growth Chamber Guardians were really good. Definitely really liked them. And yeah, this this was just a, a fun deck to play. It's something a little different, and it works really well. The Spark Double Combo is a ton of fun. Um, yeah, this I like this deck a lot. All right, so there we go. That is Bant Arcbow. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to give this deck a try too if you have like upcoming mcqs i think this deck's pretty strong uh but yeah that's it for for ban arcbo please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there i would appreciate that but thank you so much